Happy Paisley Day! Happy what? Paisley. Paisley Day. It's Paisley. Paisley's coming over today. Uh oh. I have the same one as Abram, but it's purple. Same blanket? Yeah, blanket. And, and I have the same zippers as him, and I have the same fluffies as him. Oh, okay. I have white too. Did you find Mr. Alf on the shelfie? Not yet. Alfie on the shelfie, where are you? -y? Stop trying to hide in your cocoon. <laughs> Cute guy. Now show the vlog stuff. Say it's my birthday. Help, bud. Here, get out. I'll zip the rest. Yeah. Oh, you got it. <laughs> you're doing such a good job, buddy. Making your bed. Hey, boy, it's so funny that you're making your bed. Did something make her bed? Mm -hmm. Show something in your bed, bud. What? Get up there and show her. It's fluffy. Yeah, I'm just fucking Daddy, stop kissing me. I've been pulling over because he's I can see your butt. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What happened? What happened? Get a picture. Show what it looks like you have. Every turn around. Mom's gonna take a picture so you can see it. Stay there. What happened? Okay, show them. Here, bud, this is what you this look is like. This is what your shirt looks like. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck happened? Did you think she went out? What happened? Do you think maybe the elf did it? Oh, oh maybe he's in here somewhere. Oh, he did it. Did he do that, do you? Because whenever I got it out to get them on, they did a house he did it. Did he have them in last night? Weird. What happened? Daddy, did you do this? Of course not. No. Look around. <laughs> Hey! Ah! He what? cut my pants! <laughs> he cut my pants! What? What are, is that a clothes? <laughs> he made snowflakes out of your clothes? <laughs> <laughs> he made snowflakes out of your clothes. <laughs> What is the outdoor with the scissors? What is he doing with the scissors, guys? No, Teddy, you're not a letter. Oh, the no. Do you remember last Who night? Who gave Teddy the scissors? Not me. Jolzy. No, no, I'm not going to do it. Are you she sure? Abram's butt, last butt is showing. <laughs> maybe, maybe since the elf cut it up, maybe Scent will get him new. Pants True. Pants. True. I didn't know we had a naughty elf in the house. I thought he was looking for Jesus. Yeah, I thought he was looking for Jesus too. I guess he just wanted to make snowflakes and he couldn't find anything else except Abram's underwear. <laughs> How did you not know he was doing that to you while you were sleeping? I don't know. Well, he's sneaky. How can you not? He knew something was going on because he was like, Juliet, get out of my bed. Oh, yeah, he did say that late I was last like, night. Oh, Juliet, it's not your bed. Go back to sleep. He said, Juliet, get out of my room. And we're like, Juliet's not in here. Wait, what? And you're like, she's under my bed. 
You said that last you night. You did say that. I thought I saw someone under my bed. It oh, so, was big. Oh, so you do remember saying that? Yeah, it was big. What was big? I saw Julia, did you do that last night? I saw a belly. Did you cut Aaron PJs? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Josie, <laughs> did I scare you? <laughs> what do you guys do over here? Oh, we're doing a gingerbread house and I'm making something out of it for the house. What are you making? A door? Oh, um, there's the door. No. There's already a door right there. There's already a door. What are you making for it? Oh, I don't really know what I'm making for it. Oh, what's up guys? So, today marks the first day of the kids' Christmas vacation and they're kicking it off. With some cut up PJs and a uh, gingerbread house. Can I just break off a piece? I don't care. If you break it, I do. Ugh. Oh. Looks like you did break it. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> okay, you guys. Ready to rumble? Let's go. Hey guys, sorry that you're getting the robe version of Nia again. I feel kind of like I'm back in my first trimester. I was reading about it. I guess that's kind of a semi-common thing in pregnancy that when you get to the third trimester, which I'm not quite there yet, almost there, you begin to feel those symptoms that you had in the beginning. I don't remember that happening before, but man, I'm like next level exhausted and I'm feeling morning sick. Shoot, I feel all day sick today. I just don't have it in me to do anything with myself. We're not going anywhere, and I just don't see why I need to get out of my pajamas today. But I will tell you guys, I had a really cute dream last night that we had a baby girl, and it was so realistic. She was so little. She looked just like a mixture of all of our kids as newborns, and oh, I would be lying if I said part of me wonders if the Lord was like giving my brain a little break. Maybe he is kind of telling me that I'm gonna have a girl so that I can stop wondering and kind of not stressing, but just, I don't know. Not stressing, but not not stressing because I, I want to know. <laughs> I'm just like so ready to know. But in the dream, we didn't have a name for the baby. We had her for weeks in the dream and she never had a name throughout the whole dream. <laughs> I'm like, ugh. So I've been looking up baby names. I really like names that have to do with like the wilderness. A few that I've liked, Ellery, I've decided against that one because if I were to explain to someone like, oh, this is my daughter, it's Celery. It just sounds like Celery. Um, I'm sorry if you're watching and your name is Ellery. I'm not making fun of the name. I actually think it's so beautiful. I just don't think it would work for us. Mm -hmm. Then here comes Sam. I'll just ask him about it. I started thinking about the baby name, Sage. What do you think about Sage? Sage, like the herb? Yeah, after that dream I had last night, I felt urgency to pick a girl name because in the, in the dream she didn't have a name for like weeks. And then I woke up. That I'm sure was going to be that way too. <laughs> I, I don't think they that. let you do that. I think you have to name it before you go home from the hospital. Because you, know. you have to sign documents. <laughs> you didn't say if you liked it or not though. Do you like the name Sage? Stop being gross. Dancing. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> do you like it or not? Yeah, I like Sage. You do? <laughs> I was thinking we should have an S name, no matter what, because it'd be like Symphony Abram Juliet's S A J S. It's framed by the S initial. Sam is so not listening to me. Whatever. I tried. Okay, I tried. A bird just flew in the house. I went outside to see if we could see the Star of Bethlehem tonight. It's way too cloudy, but I'll keep checking. And a bird flew in, like brushed the side of my head and he's sitting up in that little, I don't know, what do you call that? That ledge up there, up above the cabinet space. Okay, now we can see it. I got up on the bench. Poor little guy, he's probably really scared. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I'm, oh, <gasps> he went to my ivy plants. That's so cute. He fills in the nature. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he went to the painting over the little canvas that looks like the outdoors. Yeah. Poor little birdie <laughs> wants to go outside. So All I can say is I'm glad we're not a family of people who are afraid of birds. There are people out there who actually have like bird phobia. 
It's called something, I don't know what it is. But I think it's cute, it's not scary to me. He's so little. Farm guys, Let's see if we could get any worm action. Seems squirm. Wait, I want to see them. They're gone. As soon as you open it, they leave. I have one under here too. But anyway, we're going to check out this guy that I got at a estate sale. I got to show you guys this. This thing is awesome. They got a whole trip to Hawaii. Here. It's kind of a bummer because they're focused so much on this uh, tourism instead of like capturing moments. It's kind of boring, just like old Hawaii. Um, but some of these little ones are super short. These are super eights. Let's watch a Christmas one. Here's one. Christmas number one, 1967. You put the spool on the side, and then you bring it over here. You start it inside of this little previewer. It's a reviewer. This isn't how they watch the movies. This is how they reviewed it to, to splice them up. Put the film in there. If I can, this part is so, you push this little clear plastic thing over it. Hey. All right, now let's plug it in. Are you guys ready to watch a movie? Okay. Come on now. Or you want to watch too. Yeah. It smells history. Turn the lights out. Wait, remember you have to make the noise. All right, the we movie didn't starting. Miss the movie's starting. <laughs> so you just kind of. Oh, there we go. Oh. It's Christmas, 1967. Huh? What do you guys see? I see kids. Hey, I saw um the picture of these kids. Same kids? I see kids. Well, well, kids. Well, Mommy, I want to put a present. You go out the way, cause I gotta go poop real quick. <laughs> okay, you come over here. Okay, who wants some presents? Mom, I'm up out of bed. I'm ready for Christmas. I don't want to be on camera right now. Oh, hey, Mommy. Everybody sit down. We're going to open presents. Look how beautiful the tree looks this morning. Oh, wow. Look at all the presents under the tree. Who's going to go first? I want to go first, Mama. I can't see. It's Christmas. How about Christmas Johnson Children 1969? Yes. She didn't see him. Look at him over there going up for a kiss. This is just so fascinating, guys. I get this little window into this random family that I found at an estate sale. They have no idea. I'm sitting here sharing it on YouTube. 1967. How many years ago was that? I'm bad at doing that kind of math, but so long ago this guy got a TV. I don't mean to get depressing on you, but it just reminds me how meaningless all these material items we get. In 40 years from now, somebody's gonna be looking back on our YouTube channel, looking at our little watches that we're getting, computers, and be like, what the heck were they thinking? Hopefully one day, you know, our culture will realize the insignificance of all this materialism. And I, I think we realize it now, we just haven't snapped out of it. Myself included. They're so excited about their new TV. Hey, anyway guys, thanks for joining us today. Hope you're having a Merry Christmas. Remember not to make it about all the material possessions, but um, just to make it about the, the people you love in your life and pouring into them in a way that has lasting impact. 
and that means loving them like Jesus loved us sac sacrificially. I obviously don't have all the answers and I'm still trying to figure this out. Just love on the people around you and make sure you're loving the Lord. We'll catch you tomorrow guys, don't forget. He loves you and remember to love each other. Oh, that's a cute little tea set. What is that? Look what that kid got. From set. The best taco I've ever had. Wow. Siete. 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 Wait. Daddy, sit down. What are you doing? I'm sitting over there for a reason. What, Julia? Please find the food on me. <laughs>